All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Waharakhak Wadash, with Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. That's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And the Rakhak Wadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will rule and teach you on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. And I want to get into a lesson that is uh, based on the scripture in Isaiah 58 and 1. On how we're supposed to cry out loud and spare not. And we're supposed to lift up our voice like a trumpet. Okay? And that's the main thing. You know, we got to make sure that we speak loudly when we're out there on the highways and byways teaching, okay? And basically what inspired this lesson was two things. The uh, first is I was um, watching a little bit of the camp session that we had this past Saturday. And uh, one of the brothers who was speaking, um, I could barely hear him. You know, I had my audio all the way up. You know, there was no distractions, you know, where I, where I was at. And I, and I couldn't really hear him, okay? And it was because he was, you know, one, talking low. And then also, you know, you got to remember, brothers, when we're out there in the highways and byways, you know, you have noises from the cars, okay? Hit the emergency, you know, vehicles that are bypassing with their sirens. You know, people walking by, you know, talking, making noise, okay? Then, you know, the wind blowing. So... You know, the, the cameras pick these things up. So we got to make sure that we're speaking, you know, loudly and clearly. So whomever is listening, you know, uh, uh, can hear these words so they can ulti ultimately be edified. Okay? Because that's our main job. You know, we do all things, you know, uh, for edification's sake. All right? You see? And then, you know, those that are out there. You know, uh, uh, walking, you know, past us, you know, they can hear this word. You know, whether they hear or whether they forbear, as the scriptures say. All right. But we have to speak, you know, um, you know, w w w with volume. Okay. You know, you can't be quiet like a mouse. You can't be quiet like you're in a library. You know, we're, we're not commanded to do that. You know, the Lord said this in Isaiah 58 and 1. And, you know, let me pull out that scripture. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. It says, um, Cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And me personally, I was uh, in the school band when I was younger. All right, that was something that, you know, I did uh, during grammar school and high school. And when those trumpets, you know, were playing, you know, you can hear them. No, you can hear them, all right? To the point where sometimes, you know, uh, uh, it was piercing to the ears, you know? And we got to be the same way. Now, I understand that, you know, some brothers, they're a little more quiet, all right? You know, they, they don't have, you know, a powerful voice, so to speak, all right? But uh, you got to make sure that uh, you get that, <laughs> you know, that lion out of you, you know? We still should be able to hear you, you know, when you're bringing out a precept, you know, when you're making a point. Okay? You see? You know, bro bro brothers shouldn't have to try to concentrate, you know, on what you're saying, so to speak, just to, you know, just to uh, catch what you, you know, you know, what's coming out of your mouth. All right? Remember, uh, remember that. And it says, and show my people their transgressions. And the house of Jacob, their sins. Okay, so, you know, everyone must hear this. All right. You know, like I said, that that, that was the first thing that, um, you know, that, that was what inspired this first and foremost. You know, when I was uh, rewatching our camp session, could barely hear what was being said by the brother, you know. And then uh, uh, the elder Uriah, you know, he made a video uh, recently too, you know. Telling brothers, you know, to uh, double check your audio, okay, when you're um, 
you know, making a lesson. All right, make sure you got your volume up. You know, make sure you're speaking clearly. Make sure you're speaking into the mic. Oh, uh, another thing too, you know, for your brothers, this is something that uh, uh, Laura Will and I invest in myself. Um, I'll try to get a mic, okay, for your phone. And they're uh, not that expensive. They're like 20 or $30 uh, uh, on Amazon. You know, little, uh, uh, you know, attachment, okay, little attachments to your phone. You know, just put it in. And now you got a mic now, all right? See? You know, get these things, get the right equipment to make sure that, you know, everyone can hear. You see? All right, and like I said, uh, uh, L.D. Ryan mentioned these things in one of his uh, uh, lessons. It was a little PSA. It was a little quick exhortation, you know. He was just telling brothers that, you know, you just, you know, speak up because he, he was trying to listen to a brother and his... Uh, uh, and, you know, one of his videos and he couldn't hear him. You know, he couldn't get edified. Okay. You know, let me get that scripture real quick. Because remember, brothers, all things are for, uh, I think it's uh, edifying. I think that's how it's uh, worded. Yep. This is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26. And it reads, How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you hath a psalm, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation? Let all things be done unto edifying. And that's the main thing, okay? Let all things be done unto edifying. All right? You know? And this is why you have to, you know, speak up. Because you want to make sure that you're building up the church. And the things that you're, you know, bringing out is very important, brothers. Remember that. Whether it be a precept. Whether you, um, you know, breaking down the scripture. Whether you, you know, bring out some, you know, key points, okay, to the topic at hand. All these things are important, all right? And the, and the church needs to hear it, whomever it may be. You see? All right. And let me uh, end it off with uh, Romans, uh, the 10th chapter. You know, this, this is just a quick lesson, you know, just some quick edification, Okay, some quick exhortation. We don't have to drag this lesson out. But this is, uh, I'll get Romans chapter 10 and I'll, uh, start at, uh, I'll start at verse 13. It says here, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him? In him of whom they have not heard how shall they hear without a preacher you see these people need to hear these things all right and that preacher you know that that, that preacher should be loud you know you should you, you the, a, a preacher should be heard okay and like I said, you know, I understand that not all brothers, okay, have that voice like that. But still, regardless, if you're going to, you know, uh, uh, you know, say something, you're going to be, whether it be you um, bringing out a precept, you you being the main teacher, you know, breaking things down. Or like I said, you, you know, bringing out a point or two to help, you know, with the lesson. You, you better be loud and, 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 and you know... Those around you should be able to hear you, okay? Those that are listening to, to, to these videos should be able to hear it, okay? And it says, I'm going to keep reading. How shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of good, Utsalaki, the gospel of peace, and bring good, glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. Okay, you see? It says right there. So then faith cometh by hearing. And then and, and best believe hey, the sheep need to hear these words. Alright? 
So don't be uh, so quiet and timid. You know? Don't be quiet and timid. Speak up. You're a man. Bring that lion out of you. You know? But, um, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, hey, brothers, just remember to, uh, you know, live up, you know, uh, uh, to that scripture, all right? You know, uh, uh, that Isaiah 58 and uh, 1. Cry out loud and spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet, brothers. All right? You see? Live up to that. You know, it's it's very important in this ministry. Okay? And with that, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. Hopefully it was edifying. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.